We are sitting in what could be or is nearby or could actually be the spot of the Garden of Gethsemane, one of the most intense passages of scripture in the entire Bible. Does this ever get old for you? It's breathtaking. It's my first time, here. but it's, it's overwhelming. So spiritually powerful. Right, because again, it's not about the actions that took place here. It's about the heart of what took place here. Jesus was experiencing heartbreak. This is where the most emotional moment that we've ever has seen captured in the Bible took place. And uh, one thing that I didn't really make sense of until I was here in Israel this week was the importance and the relevance and the metaphor of the fact that this is the Mount of Olives. The Garden of Gethsemane was in a grove of olive trees. I mean, first of all, think about it for a moment. He is called the Messiah. Messiah means the anointed one. Anointed with what? Anointed with olive oils. <laughs> To be set apart as the king of Israel, you had to be anointed with the holy olive oil, as well as to be a priest. The priests were anointed with oil before they stepped into their service in the temple. The Garden of Gethsemane actually means the place of the olive press. This is the place where they would press and crush the olives, and the oil here would be used in the temple. So here he is as the Messiah, the priest, in the place where the oil is being produced he's about to be crushed for the weight of sin. Right, so that's the thing is we actually were yesterday, we saw an olive press and how it was done, it was a multi-step process, but it was all about crushing. And so Jesus is surrounded by olives and is being yeah. crushed. To get the full oil out of the olive, you had to crush it not once, not twice, but three times. And this correlates to the three times Jesus asked his disciples to tarry with him in prayer. It's each time more is being squeezed out of him. Each time he's feeling more of the weight of the burden of sin that he is gonna bear until the third crushing, the final crushing, where actually blood begins to come right. out from within him. So it's him. not an accident that they wrote in this, go in this gospel account that he was sweating and bleeding because that is a picture of what it looks like essentially when, oil, when olives are turned into oil. And the disciples weren't willing to go through that. And we are oftentimes unwilling to go through that. So the Garden of Gethsemane, for me, it's a reminder not only of this amazing story and not only what Jesus went through, but what we actually should go through because when you're pressing on those olives, more than anything else, it brings light. That, that's that, that what they used olive oil yeah, for, as absolutely. well for olive lamps, bringing light to the world. And that's what Jesus was willing to go through to become. The olive is valuable, but the oil is only produced through the crushing. 